Hi boys and girls, welcome back to the Parsha Studio. In Parsha Shmini, we learn all about which animals and fish are kosher. Today we're going to make a small fish magnet, a kosher one of course. Here are the supplies that we will need. Air dry clay, a Ziploc bag, scissors, a strip of magnet or magnet stickers, a paintbrush, tacky glue, and multicolored sequins in a variety of sizes. Let's begin. First, search through the sequins and pick out the colors and sizes you want for your fish. Aside from being pretty, do you know why we are using sequins for our fish? Well, I'll give you a hint. It has something to do with two signs that make a fish kosher, having fins and scales. Now we are going to form the body of the fish. Take a piece of clay and shape it into an oval that is flat on the bottom, then form a teeny tiny ball for the eye and a small leaf shaped piece for the fin. Let's talk about the mitzvah of kosher. What is so important about it? Let's imagine you come downstairs one morning and instead of a regular breakfast, your mommy served you a giant plate of candies and ice cream. It would taste yummy at first, but soon you wouldn't be feeling too good and your stomach would start to hurt. Then you'll realize that it's a better idea to eat healthy foods that keep your body strong. Take another piece of clay to shape the tail of the fish. Roll the piece into a rope, then bend it into the shape of a heart. Play around with it until you like the shape. Just as your body needs healthy food, your neshama also needs special food that is healthy for it. This food for the soul is otherwise known as kosher food. Put all the pieces except for the oval into an airtight bag so that they won't dry out. We'll take them out when we're ready to work with them again. Next, we will create scales for the fish by layering sequins on each part of its body. Paint a thin layer of tacky glue on one side of the oval and carefully position one sequin at a time across the surface placing them such that they overlap a little. Make sure there is enough glue for the sequins to stick nicely to the clay. Keep going until about three quarters of the oval is covered, both on the sides and the top, leaving the flat bottom surface empty. Make sure to leave about a quarter of the oval bare for the face of the fish. Each of us has a special spark, a neshama that wants us to do mitzvot and kind things, but sometimes we don't feel that part of us so much. How can we make it stronger? One of the ways is through making sure to only eat kosher food. This type of food gives our neshamos energy to do the right thing. Do you know where in the Torah we learn about kosher? It's in this week's Parsha, Parsha Shemini. In this Parsha, we learn about the different kosher animals and fish, including the signs that help us know how to spot them. Take out the tiny fish eyeball and stick it to the face with tacky glue. Glue a sequin on top for color. There are many, many details to kosher, as you might already know. To create a mouth, slice into the clay beneath the eye with two red sequins so that the edge of them forms a line. Aside from making sure an animal is kosher, we have to make sure it is shechted properly and prepared according to the way the Torah says, although fish do not need to be shechted. Next, take a little clay fin out of the bag and cover it entirely with sequins except for the bottom, using the same technique we use for the fish's body. Then there are other areas of kosher, such as making sure to check different fruits or vegetables for bugs, since bugs are not kosher, or ensuring that the symbol on your food is a good hechsher, and there are many more areas besides these. What is one way that you can make your neshama stronger by being more careful in one area of kosher? Attach the fin to the body with tacky glue. You will be gluing it on top of a sequin scale, but that is okay. It won't ruin the scales as long as they have mostly dried. Lastly, we will cover the fishtail with sequin scales using the same technique as we used above, again covering the entire surface of the top and sides, leaving just the bottom flat and empty. You can use the same colors I'm using, or you can choose whichever color sequins you like best. Attach the fishtail to the body and press them together to make sure that they fuse. Let the glue dry a bit, then cut a strip of magnet according to the length of the fish and use tacky glue to stick it onto the bottom of the fish. For best results, leave the project to dry for 24 hours. Enjoy your kosher clay fish magnet and we'll see you next week.